Hey guys, it's Sketch. Welcome back to my cozy corner of art. I'm glad you're joining me today. I hope you guys have a warm drink and a snack. And I hope you guys are ready to get into this new video with me. Um, so... I have a bit of a hyperfixation in Sanrio. Um, honestly, maybe a bit more of a special interest with how long-lasting it is. Um, but... I decided it would be really fun to start working on some humanizations of Sanrio characters. And so in this video, I started with um, what I consider to be the big six in terms of Sanrio characters. So we have, of course, Hello Kitty. Then we also have My Melody and Kuromi, Pump Pumper and Cinnamon Roll, and then Kuropi. And so, in this video, I just wanted to get into these characters with all of you. I thought it'd be really fun, so let's get into it. So, for the first one, we have Hello Kitty. Um, Hello Kitty is typically described as a little girl. And so, for her, I decided to give her a cute overall dress, um, and to give her these puffy sleeves. I want to give her this fun and exciting energy. And so for Hello Kitty, I made her very lively and friendly, almost um, kid core. Um, she's definitely not as, not as extreme as the kid core aesthetic can be, but for her, yeah, it just made her really fun and exciting. Then for my Melody, she is like the pastel queen when it comes to uh, Sanrio. So I want to give her a lot of... Um, flowy and flowery characteristics aside from pink her other main characteristic is the flower that she usually has in her hair um and so i want to give her a pink and a daisy look overall i made it super frilly i made her really cutesy and girly um and for karomi i went with um basically my melody's counterpart when it comes to karomi she's usually almost always paired with my melody um, and is kind of the dark evil version of my melody. And so for her, I gave her spikes instead of frills. I made her purple instead of pink. She has skulls instead of flowers and is basically the goth to my melody's pastel. And then for Pom Pom, um, there's not too much design wise to him. He's kind of just like a chubby yellow dog with a brown hat who likes pudding so there's not a lot to go off of for a design for him but i wanted to give him this really cute sweater it, it feels very pom-pom core um i gave him a beret with his ears um one because that's one of the most popular pom-pom purin merch is just a brown beret with pom-pom purin ears um i love that hat so much i want it so bad <laughs> um but i gave that to him to incorporate his design and aesthetic for him i gave him big poofy sleeves to help with the silhouette of his normal uh non-human design i gave him these really cozy brown pants and brown sneakers um and then for cinnamon roll cinnamon roll is a character that i feel it's commonly riddled with misconceptions. Most people think that he is a girl bunny and not a boy flying puppy. So I gave him a very long hairstyle and then I also made him rather twinkish and a bit effeminate. Um, I feel like that really fits for Cinnamoral. Um, obviously I gave him a light blue aesthetic considering that he's white and is usually drawn with these pastel blue lines. Blue is kind of his color. Um, I gave him freckles and bandages, um, a really big poofy sweater, these really cozy socks. Um, yeah, I really like his design. And then for Kuropi, Kuropi is usually shown as a bit of a little nerd character. He is usually, um, a bit shy and awkward um his big eyes and his normal design lends well to becoming glasses in this human version and then though he's usually just in a striped t-shirt i thought 
His design and character and silhouette really leans well for a raincoat. So I gave him a big raincoat with big rain boots. I gave him a bunch of freckles, shorts underneath the raincoat, and then I paid homage to his typical striped shirt um, with the shirt that he's wearing underneath his sweater. And then of course his classic bow tie. I'm really happy with all these designs. I think they all look really cute and happy together. And I really enjoy the way that they look. I think they're all really fun. And I hope you enjoy them too. Thank you as always for watching. I hope you had a fun time stopping by my cozy corner today. I hope that you enjoyed these designs that I made. I know I certainly love them. Um, if you'd like, please consider liking this video or maybe subscribing. Um, I really appreciate any love given to my channel. It means the world to me. Um, and I love you all. Have a good night.